Hello, everyone, and welcome to From Milwaukee to Nashville. I am John Lewandowski, your host for today. We apologize that this video is going up today instead of last night, but with how late everything got with how late the Predators game went, uh, it was just decided it would be better off to do it this morning. So, all right. Um, again, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. <clears throat> All right, so last night was a double. The Milwaukee Admirals visited Grand Rapids to take on the Griffins, and the Nashville Pres Predators visited the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, we'll start with the Admirals-Griffins game. Uh, shots on the goal in the first period. Grand Rapids outshot Milwaukee 14-5. to In the second period, Milwaukee outshot Grand Rapids 9-6. to in the third period, Grand Rapids outshot Milwaukee 15 to 6. And in total, Grand Rapids outshoots Milwaukee 38 to 22. On the power play, Milwaukee goes one for three with eight minutes, four infractions, while Grand Rapids goes one for two with 10 minutes, five infractions. <laughs> Scoring in the first period, there was none. Scoring in the second period at the 10.57 mark for the Admirals was Alex Campbell scoring his third of the season on the power play, assisted by Reed Schaefer, his 14th, and Jeremy Hansel, his second. Then in the third period at the 7.44 mark, the Griffins get on the board with a goal from Joel uh, Esperance, his 16th of the year on the power play, assisted by Zach Aston Reese, his 16th, and Taro Hirose, his 27th. <clears throat> that would tie the game up at 1 1 and lead to overtime. So, in overtime, two minutes, 10 seconds into overtime, the Griffins score with a goal from Carter Mazur, his 17th of the year. Assisted by Austin Zarnick, his 18th, and Albert Johansson, his 15th. The Admirals fall in overtime to the Grand Rapids Griffins 2-1, and that wraps up the Admirals' regular season. In goal for the Grand Rapids Griffins was Sebastian Kosa, stopping 21 of 22, and in goal for the Admirals was Troy Grosnick stopping 36 of 38. The three stars of the game were third star Alex Campbell for the Admirals with one goal. Second star was Joel Asperance for Grand Rapids with one goal. And first star of the game for Grand Rapids was Carter Mazor with a goal. <clears throat> All right, now on to the start of the first round of the playoffs between the Nashville Predators and the Vancouver Canucks. Shots on goal in the first period, Nashville outshoots Vancouver 6-4. to four. In the second period, Vancouver outshoots Nashville 10-6. to six. In the third period, <clears throat> Nashville outshoots Vancouver 10-7. to seven. And in total, Nashville outshoots Vancouver 22 to 21. Vancouver was better in the faceoff circle at 56.3% to Nashville's 43.8%. On the power play, Nashville goes one for four with four penalty minutes, while Vancouver goes 0 for two with eight penalty minutes. <clears throat> Vancouver outhit Nashville 41 to 34. Nashville blocked 14 shots to Vancouver's 11. Nashville had six giveaways to Vancouver's three. And Nashville had five takeaways to, Na uh, to Vancouver's three. <clears throat> Scoring in the first period uh, at the 16-15 mark for Nashville 
was Jason Zucker scoring his first of the playoffs, assisted by Yossi, his first of the playoffs, and Jankowski, his first of the playoffs. That puts Nashville up 1-0 <clears throat> and would do it for the first period. In the second period, 47 seconds in, Vancouver scores the goal from Elias Lindholm, his first of the playoffs, assisted by Joshua, his first of the playoffs, and Zadorov, his first of the playoffs. <clears throat> then at the 10.46 mark in the second, on the power play for Nashville, Ryan O'Reilly scores his first of the playoffs, assisted by Nyquist and Forsberg, their first of the playoffs. That would do it for the second period, with Nashville leading 2-1. to one. Then in the third period, at the 8.59 mark, Vancouver gets on the board from Pius Suter, his first of the playoffs, assisted by Hughes and Bosser, their first of the playoffs, making it 2-2. Two to two. Then at the 9.11 mark for Vancouver, Dakota Joshua scores his first of the playoffs, assisted by Garland, his first of the playoffs, and Hughes, his second of the playoffs making it 3-2 Vancouver. <clears throat> then at the 1832 mark, on an empty net, Vancouver scores again with a goal from Dakota Joshua, his second <clears throat> of the playoffs, second of the night, assisted by Bluger, his first of the playoffs, and Miller, his first of the playoffs. Nashville falls to Vancouver 4-2 in game one. All right, so in goal for Vancouver was Thatcher Demko, stopping 20 of 22 with a .909 save percentage. In goal for Nashville was UC Soros, stopping 17 of 20 with a .850 save percentage. Your three stars of the game. Uh, third star for Nashville was Ryan O'Reilly with a goal and a point. Second star for Vancouver was Hughes with two assists and two points. And first star of the game for Vancouver was Joshua with two goals, an assist, and three points. <clears throat> trying to think if I have anything else for you guys here um the next ga playoff game for the Predators is April 23rd Starting at 10 p.m. Eastern or 9 Central, that will be game two, and that is in Vancouver again. Um, for the Admirals, uh, we are now waiting on the first round between, I believe, Texas and Manitoba, but I am going to check that really quick to make sure I am correct. <clears throat> Yes, between Texas and Manitoba, we have to wait for it. 
So I, so I do believe that is it. The Texas Manitoba series is a three game series. Um, and that kicks off on April 23rd. So uh, the Admirals will play the winner of that series in the Central Division semifinals. But all right, I think that is all I have for everyone. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.